there's so much level of of uh, of judgment in what you do. There's, mm. there's you, you, I mean, you as a commentator now, you you are. <laughs> just hearing your voice it's just it's kind of nostalgic whenever you see diving you hear leon so it's uh you're you're always there but but there is such a level like you mentioned of, of being judged on mm-hmm. what you execute do you because i see this in other athletes all the time and I, I it must be really tough in in a sport such as diving to to not get overwhelmed by that level of judgment that may be coming from not only obviously in the competition that's a, a certain part of judgment you are judged on your skill but do you think that relationship you've just spoken about there with peter being able to be really open honest and frank do you think it's becoming a a, a, a tougher conversation to have now with with some athletes because of the willingness not to to be judged to to this fear of of people seeing the the bad parts of you do you think that's a tougher conversation that people are having yeah i don't know i hope not uh, is is the answer? I can only speak for, for kind of few isolated relationships that I know well and and how they're working. I think that look, you know, to 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 access high performance, to succeed, you know, this collaboration, this support and challenge. I think it all needs to be there. And you're, you know, unless you open yourself up, unless I give you permission, Lewis, to give me feedback. Uh, then if you give me feedback, I'll just potentially defend myself because I think that you're having a go at me or whatever. But if I actively go, hey, I'm looking to improve, and this can be extrapolated out into any domain. So let's say I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm on stage, and uh, I'm looking to improve, which is a true story. So I'll let people know, tr- trusted people in, in the audience say, hey, look, I'm working on this thing today, pausing in between stories. Can you give me some feedback on that? So at the end, they come over and they give me the feedback. But if someone comes over to me at the end and go, hey, Leon, I thought that you didn't pause enough. I just go, OK, thanks. You know, yeah. and so it's, it's because it's, it's different. So I think that in order to get the most out of what you're trying to do, and sport is a great example because you're purposeful practice, you know, deliberate practice. You're looking to make improvements every single day and you can't just go through the motions for that. You need to create an environment where you're getting data from somewhere. So coaches, uh, video feedback, teammates, whatever's going on in order to improve and and go about it in that way. And you can't do that unless you're opening up going, hey, I'm a work in progress. You know, I'm not a picture to be hung on the wall. I'm I'm trying to improve and I need help from you guys, you, you know, the, the, the people around me in order to do that. Now, the caveat to that is paralysis by analysis. <laughs> like, yeah. You just get so absorbed as I have done. And diving is one of those sports where you do, basically, you can get, well, Simone Biles has uh, had, you know, the um, lost move syndrome. I can't remember what she calls it, the twisties or something where That's she's it, yeah. basically, yeah. So, yeah, so lost move syndrome. And the dog golfers get it, it's the yips. Uh, so you're going for a putt and you just like tonk it and in diving, it comes in various forms. So I had that during my career for a period of time where I would stand on the board and I would just be rabbit in front of the headlights and I'd be like, I can't take off. I'd be frozen. Eventually I'd take off and I would do an extra half a somersault and I would freak out because I'm like trying not to do it. And of course, the harder you try not to do it, the worse it gets. And da, da, da. So there's that's an extreme expression of, of what you can do when you try and when you try too hard, <laughs> when you yeah. try and make you know, technically you go into it and you basically you know, you ask a tennis player to break down their serve. They're like, oh, I don't know where I move my foot. And they wouldn't be able to serve. They just kind of, same in diving. You're just letting the move, letting the movements happen to themselves. So paralysis by analysis, I would, one of the things I learned during my time is that sometimes I would just have to leave a dive alone for a period of like a, a few days or even a week and then come back to it and it would have fixed itself. Right. So the irony is I'm trying to do the handstand and and I'm getting too close to the te- to the board that the rotation isn't working and I'm doing it again and again. And I'm doing it on the lower diving board so I can do increased repetitions. I'm just trying to break the skill down, but it's just not it's getting worse and worse and worse. So the coach would go, right, leave it. You're not doing it anymore. And all my mind is saying is, yeah, but I need to fix it. I need to fix it. I can do this. I can. And then by stepping back and just letting things settle down and then coming back fresh, it was almost like it was never a problem when you came back and having that um, confidence to do that 
uh, and courage to do that is 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 something which doesn't come easily actually but obviously once you've been through it you can then start to go okay everything's temporary this too shall pass <sighs> let's go off and do something else and then come back and you know that's a good approach for you know if you're writing a book if you're studying if you're you know it can be applied to all these different performance domains because I, I would argue that everything is a performance this conversation is a performance and you know you can approach things in a helpful way and you can pr- approach things in an unhelpful way um and yeah and knowing what's right for you is the game 